Hi everybody, the example of today is about how we use the repeated control. And today I will talk about the repeated using ASP.NET with VB.NET language. Then the repeated control is used to display in a repeated list of items. And the repeated control can be used with a table of database, an XML file or any other list of items. Then I will show you how I did this code. And first I created the XML file and saved it this name. And then I went to File, New Website, informing the Visual Basic Language and the project type as ASP.NET Empty Website. And then I took off all all the code page and imported system data namespace because we want to use data set object. Then I did the script with this condition and then I wrote it uh, in page load just to run when the page loads and here I wrote this condition with its postback property to go to the save just once here I'm instantiating the dataset class creating an object as, as dataset and inside the object we have the read XML property which is to read XML and that line I use map path map path function to get the path of the XML file and then I fill up the data source property passing the data set fill it up with our XML and here I show the data with data binds and then I created a repeated control on the page at this line and when we drag the repeated control to the page it comes just this line above and the line closing closing the control and those lines within the control we have to create. We should always create a header, an item template, and a footer. And the header is where we inform the title of the columns. Then We must write an item template, which is where each record in the dat data set is executed to the repeater. And here we use the container, which is from repeater counter to display the data for us. The field that are in the table, in the XML file, are here as seen our example and finally comes the footer which is handed only on to and this alternating item template tag is only to differentiate the the lines inside our repeater now let's run to see how it works with uh, F11 but first I'll put a breakpoint over here F11 
Now it check if the page already passed by the server and it instantiated the data, data set and created the data set object and it filled the filled up it, the data set with XML XML file and it filled the data source with the data set to show us with the data binds and now goes into the repeated field and it will pass inside this code to the end of our XML code so F5 to see our how our page is so here is our title and record well this is the code to the next sample